Okay, so let's just quickly recap on that. Your personal page on Facebook is about you, so that people can buy into you as an individual. They'll get a sense of who you are, what you're about, what sort of person you are. Whereas your business Facebook page is about your business. It's about your expertise, it's about your professionalism, and it's about your credibility. And on your business Facebook page, we want to be putting content that they will find valuable. Because at the moment, they are finding valuable content about personal finance on a myriad of other websites out there onto the, on the internet. Let me just give you an example of a financial advisor who does this very well on Facebook. The owners of the business have their own personal Facebook pages and they put pictures of their kids, they put pictures of their holiday and their pets and so on and it's all lovely stuff. But their business Facebook page is very different. And let me just give you some examples of the sort of content that they're putting on theirs. Something that they put on today. An article from This Is Money, Should We Dip Into Our Pensions To Pay For Our Daughter's University Fees? Guaranteed they will have clients who will find that particularly interesting. Another one here, talking about, this is from cityam.com, talking about how uh, pocket money inflation now exceeds inflation on parents' wages. Uh, another one here, what's your etiquette on, on money matters? And they've got an article here, would you ask a friend about their salary? And it refers to research about the degree to which people, how comfortable they are asking other people about their money and what they're earning. Here's an article about how people can now pay for things with their Apple Watch. So this is all content that's freely available on websites like the BBC, City AM, This Is Money. There is a wealth of content that is out there that you can just drop into your Facebook page and it will often pull any pictures, useful images that are on there and it's great content. The trick is to think carefully, is this the sort of thing that my clients would find interesting? If you've got slightly younger age group of clients, maybe you, uh, your target audience is maybe people in their 30s, maybe your target audience is middle-aged business owners, think about the content and there are a wealth, and we're going to put some of this in the notes below, of different websites where you can find some of this content. Now, I just want to finish this particular section now with three tips that I would strongly recommend that you think about when you're using a business Facebook page. Tip number one, when you meet a client for the first time, add to your fact find a really simple question. Mr. or Mrs. Client, are you on Facebook? Now, quite a lot of them will say, oh no, that's not for me, I don't do that. I look at my kids' Facebook page, but you'll increasingly find, because the statistics say so, that more and more people are on Facebook. This is part of the getting to know your client. So if they're on Facebook, find out where they are and ask them, would it be okay to connect with you? But also tell them that you have a business Facebook page. So the second tip is promote your business Facebook page to your existing clients. In fact, whether or not they are on Facebook, your business Facebook page is now part of your business proposition. Your proposition is not just you meeting them on a one-to-one -one basis, offering them financial advice or doing financial planning. Your expertise is part of your proposition and your business Facebook page is part of that proposition. So actively promote your business Facebook page to your existing clients and also to your existing professional connections as well. And the third tip, which I think is really, really powerful, and I know this one works because the financial advisors that we work with here, they use this one a lot. It's great putting content on your business Facebook page, but we want it to reach as many people as you possibly can. 